Hello there, I'm Al Jahil, and welcome back to Europe Universalis for Ethiopia. We're gonna get that sweet Coptic blessing and Presta John achievement. In the last episodes, uh, we basically wrecked the Mamelukes, and we also took a bunch around here, and we started to basically completely occupy the Horn of Africa. So we're going to... <coughs> oh, that was a bad cough. We're keeping a small uh, division of troops here to kind of keep down the uh, rebellion risk in this area. Actually, no, there isn't really any. But regardless... Actually, it would make sense to actually keep these here, wouldn't it? So let's uh, let's do that, and then we'll move these guys down, and start preparing for the next war. And by preparing for the next war, I mean absolutely and utterly eradicate the guys in the southeast because, oh man, we gonna kill them. Is that when we get rid of the merchants and the diplomats? It's just too much. I don't need to know this crap, man. In fact, you know, the thing that I, the only thing I really want is the hostile sieges. Cool. Monastic orders. Ah, oh, good. Reign them in and lose the stability. Or gain stability and gain local autonomy. Well, I'd rather have the stability. But basically, they've contributed to the text of the state. The monasteries of Ethiopia are also a source of the education of the Ethiopian clergy. Blah, blah, blah. I would like to have some stability, please. Thank you. Come again. I should also be fabricating claims on these douche canoes, and we're fabricating claims over in the south as well. Okay, we're basically already here, Jesus Christ. Um, rebel risk rise. Oh, there's actually a 27,000 rebel risk. Let's take care of that, shall we? Let's just put all these guys here. Good stuff. So we're going to kind of just chuck all our troops in this province. I'd really rather not have to deal with any rebels. Which means we are going to have to increase our arm maintenance all the way up. We're actually making an absolute bank, so we're fine. Our manpower is redonkulously good. Uh, and I'm going to keep building caravels. Considering how much money we have. Because I would really like to try and maintain naval supremacy. So I'm going to get some rebels pretty soon. And once I crush the rebels, we'll uh, we'll move on. I really want to get more religious uh, strength and more missionaries and stuff, because it's taking so freaking long. Nagusa Nagas, reputation tarnished. Lose 100 diplo power. Oh, that's fine with me. I'm not super caring about the diplo power. Okay, we don't want to lose too many men, though. So we'll just send half of these guys out. So as soon as the rebels go a uh, pop, we will deal with them, and then we will ride on down. There it is. Give these guys a general. We're moving really fast. Look at this. And wrecked. Local traders demand aid. Lose 100 ducats or l gain loads of unrest. I would rather lose the 100 ducats. Right, that reduces our unrest risk by basically all of it. So we're just going to send our goods down. We'll keep half an army here just in case. Uh, we'll make sure we don't have any uh, mercenaries because we really don't need any. Because we have so many troops now. Okay, it's fine. So we're still fabricating claims on these guys. How much do we have? We got... We actually have most of them. Including this gold province. Which is really what we want. Ah, oh, there's a stupid island here. Ah, oh, man. Ooh, the air is a zealot giving us missionary strength. That's okay. I'm really happy about our air. He's got very low administrative power, but his military power is ridic. So I'm very pleased with that. I really want to fill up all our quantity ideas and really make sure that we are completely successful because I want to get that land force limit modifier up. Also, in nine years' time, we're going to be able to declare war on these guys again. In fact, we should really be fabricating claims on the Mamluks right now. Oh, that's going to be fun. We're just going to take we're just going to take all the Mamluks territory, basically. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Ooh, was a hiccup. 
I think what I'm gonna try and do is try to get a border with these guys and uh, push in deep and take hedge out. Oh no, I can't. They're the ally with the Ottomans. But whatever. It'll be a good idea to get the border anyway. So I'm just gonna wait for the claim. Ah, oh, it's gonna take 10 months. No, I don't care about that. No, no, no. Ooh, land maintenance modifier reduction. Look at this. Oh, extra gold. Let's do it. Oh, we got no diplomats. We'll just stop fabric. We'll stop building spider network here. It's okay. So we're gonna do our holy war, religious superiority. And we're just gonna move on down. And our general's got uh some decent stats. We've well, got one maneuver. I say decent. They're actually pretty terrible. Ooh. We're just gonna find them. There we are. A loan offer. What? Why would I accept that? I am very rich. So rich. So there's a few bad boys here. <coughs> what's, what's the military tech level? Thing? They're on tech 9. I'm on tech 9 as well, but I do also have... Do I have any... The thing is, quantity ideas doesn't actually give you any bonuses in the early stage. It gives you manpower, which is nice. But it doesn't actually improve your units, but... It makes you have more of them. To be honest, I think it'd be a bit ridiculous if it improved you too much. Right, let's find them. Oh, hello. Time to wipe out a few of your dudes. Oh, hello. You're trying to sneak away. Very sneaky. Very sneaky indeed. Woo. Saucy. Oh, we can actually make these into states. Very nice. Really expanding nicely. Oh no. Ah, it's okay. Oh dear. Well, we just got stack wiped there. That's unfortunate. Oh, we can retreat. We did lose several thousand men there, but that's okay. We're going to crush them here. Ooh, baby. That's what I want to see. I'm just going to get rid of the... Ah, the king's on there. I really don't want the king to die, though. Because our king is so... Decent, at least. I love these in Navigator, so ships get extra durability. Just love that as an idea. Alright, let's just chase these guys down. Siege them down nicely. There we are. Let's head to this fort, shall we? Oh, we caught two to two of them. Two little re regiments. Goodbye. Let's see, just see how much we can annex, honestly. Wait, why was I able to move through that fort? Yeah, I just realized I was able to do that. What? Oh, I thought this was a fort as well. It was showing a fort icon. That was odd. It doesn't have a fort. Pretty weird, yeah? Disagreeing advisor, lose 10 prestige, or a grand captain dies. Uh, I lose the prestige, because I'm going to get it back straight away. And we get points as well. I think we now have enough naval supremacy to beat them. Alright, so let's go protect trade. In the Gulf of Aden. And we're just going to keep converting places as best we can. Ooh, takes a while. It's going to take ages. Oh, shit. Didn't mean to do that. 
think I was moving a bit too fast there, guys. Whew. Thankfully, we have a bonus over their general, because their general is terrible. We have the same sh fire, but same. But I have better shock. Whew. That was close. Ooh, those rolls. Ah, there we go. Shit, we lost tens of thousands of men. Where the fuck are you going? Let's just just utterly destroy these guys. May I ask what you think you're fucking doing? You douche. Ah, okay, so they do actually have 22 ships, right? Oh, the seven of them are transports. I wonder if we can get naval superi superiority here. Yeah, let's try this. We got 10% extra ship durability. It's taking a bloody age. I guess we should have been a slightly bit more careful, but... Alright, let's send half our troops down as well. Half the guys up here. Recruit an admiral. He's slightly average. Let's see what happens if we fight. I think it'll be interesting. The leader's better, but they have mostly transport ships. Come on, catch him. Okay, didn't catch him. That's okay. Um... So, obviously, they have seven transport ships, and they have slightly more morale, which is slightly troubling. Troubling. Let's see how it goes. Their names of their ships are so strange. Well, that's a very bad roll start for us. So we're getting some pretty bad rolls. That's better. I'm thinking we've lost this. Oh dear. Alright, let's retreat. Boring. Yeah, we lost... Oh, eight ships. Jesus. That's okay. Sigh. That's a lot of money wasted. Yeah, I don't think you want to mess with me, buddy. Hmm. Okay, they're still continuing to try to move. Luckily, our manpower gain is pretty nice. Would you mind stopping what you're doing? Thank you. Alright, let's just catch these assholes. Uh, is there a river between here and Kinsawana? Wana, wana, wana? Hello. Can't help but notice they are trying it on. There's still river. Oh, there's not a river between here and Pete. Just trying to catch these guys. Jesus. I think you might have win a whoopsie, mate. I should probably have a fort here. Fourteenth of December, eleventh of December. All right, let's give you the leader. And there we go. Not quite stack white, but good enough. 
It's taken ages to do this. I'm quite sad about the loss of ships as well. What's the Siege of Lola? Oh, I didn't even realize I still had troops there. Oh my god. I forgot that I'd sent so many dudes. Oh, two fire, four shock. Okie dokie. And we win. Well, we were always going to win, weren't we? That's awesome. Just kind of annihilating them a little bit. That's okay. Oh, and they have rebels. Very nice. Pretty large number of them, in fact. Now let's see what we got as the uh, the trade goods, shall we? Ah, there's more gold down here, it seems. Hello. It would appear that we've got these guys on the ropes. I think you made a whoopsie, mate. If that's what you need to do, my friend. If that's what needs to happen. Oh boy. Look at this. Well, that was just sad. Okay, let's take what we want. Obviously, we want a consistent border. Oh, yes. That would give us a huge amount of gold. Oh, my goodness. That would be good. Oops. Need that as well. Ah, oh, it's perfect. It is exactly what we need. So, we basically just take every coastal province, including taking a variety of gold provinces. Oh, Look at that. And I was saving up my core, my admin power for just this occasion. For our next one, we're probably going to need to take expansion or uh, exploration to be able to colonize more. But, oh baby. Look at this. Right. Rebel risk is obviously pretty high. 2.1 years. We'll just let it happen. Frankly. <gasps> we did it! We've become one of the great powers of the world! Oh my god. How the hell did we do that? We're one of the great powers of the world. Oh shit. That's pretty cool. I'm honestly pretty surprised. Oh my god, we'll take a look at that. Oof. Oh my god, we got such a good general now. We've expanded hugely. I'm gonna let the rebels happen, basically. It's nice every now and then to just kill some rebels. A strange man's come to our shores, but not by the Red Sea route. He claims to be part of a voyage from beyond the Cape. Greetings from fellow Christian monarchs, so his prayer is unlike that we have seen before. Honor him, visitors from Portugal. Banish him, or execute him. Well, I'm going to honor him. Yes. That is huge. Okay, we'll look at the great power thing in the next episode, and also see what kind of awesome benefits we get. But we've did, we've just gained two gold provinces. 
that's going to be freaking massive in terms of what we get from them. So I'll just increase autonomy in a couple. I'm actually just going to let the rebels happen and I'll just crush them with my bigger army. So we'll continue in the next episode. I was Aldrahil and I'll continue to be. And this has been European Successful Ethiopia. Bye bye.